this morning once more. Gosh, it's hard to believe this is the third one of these. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. It's good to have you with us. You know, when tragedy happens, uh, you can look for hope somewhere and, and find it, and you certainly did. And this memorial tournament in honor of your son, Kai, is certainly something that folks now look forward to every year. I hear that from, from many, and that's exactly the result we were looking for. Uh, we needed ourselves a positive way to remember him and continue his story. And uh, given his love for basketball, his team, and his friends, this made perfect sense. Uh, it runs us a little bit ragged between now and uh, whenever it's going, and uh, that's also a good thing because it keeps the mind busy and uh, it keeps you rolling along and, and gives us something to uh, continue continue through with ourselves. Now, Kai would have graduated this past year, but last year, yes, yeah. yes, and. Uh, very happy that last year we were able to, um, because of the success of these events and all of the donations we received for the scholarship itself, uh, we were able to award five $1,000 scholarships to each of our applicants last year in his graduating class, uh, which really meant uh, a lot to us and I believe a lot to the his peers as well. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. All right. So this year's Kai Rabofsky Memorial 3-on-3 three -three Tournament is going to be when and where? It is May 18th. That's a Saturday. Uh, it's an 8 a.m. start at Homer Center High School at the Homer Dome. Mm -hmm. Um and uh, we've had uh, we've had a lot of uh, good momentum coming into this uh, interview this morning. We've uh, had success with early registrations, and it appears that we're going to have ourselves a nice uh, nice gathering of teams this year. And that's that's the main reason for yeah. us meeting up this morning is to uh, continue to get some team registrations in. Uh, we are in our final. Um, several days of, of team registrations. The deadline is the 6th of May. Uh, so we're hoping to uh, put, yeah. get some extra teams in there. That's what makes this thing a huge success is all those teams out there competing. So we have room for teams in every bracket. the tournament itself it's a three on three tournament so you're playing right. three players on three players but each team can be made up of how many players you can have four players in a team so mm -hmm. you have a substitute um we have uh, brackets separated by age fourth through sixth grade seventh through ninth 10 through uh 10 through 12th and then uh 18 and older adult mm -hmm. and last year we added a co-ed bracket which was a lot of fun yeah. and seems to be building some nice momentum. Uh, so I think uh, co-ed's going to be a blast again this year. Uh, we just try to put that so that you're, they're 10th grade or older so that mm -hmm. uh, the ages make sense. And um, Well, that would be fun, though. That, yeah. That'd be yeah. fun to see. The one thing with the co-ed is you, that's where that substitute really comes into play uh, mm -hmm. because you, you want to, to be fair to everybody, you have to be co-ed on the court. So you want to be able to rotate in and out as uh, yeah. as appropriate yeah uh -huh. absolutely all right so the tournament may 18th may 18th uh, registration fee it's 40 dollars mm -hmm. mm -hmm. there's cash prizes and for the winning teams every participant receives a t-shirt uh so each each player on the uh on the team will have a, a t-shirt mm -hmm. and um, hopefully a really, really good time. <laughs> we should explain to folks the circumstances that brought about this Kai Robosky Memorial 3-on-3 three -three tournament. Kai was killed, unfortunately, in an accident um, at the end of his sophomore year or freshman year. He was 16. He was 16. So that would have been coming into his, his sophomore year. Going the way. into his sophomore mm -hmm. year. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I, have, I have that a little backwards, but, you know, it gets Since that, that time, of course, uh, you have um, obviously been in that recovery mode. And, and you have said before, and we certainly understand uh, that that's not something you ever recover from. Uh, nonetheless, uh, you, you search for the positive and you, you look for ways that you can make it into a positive. And this memorial tournament is the result of that. That is exactly how this ended up. We, a good friend of mine said in some events that she is involved in that helping them helps me. And by setting up the scholarship and being able to help his peers and tell his story each year and uh, memorialize him by giving to a graduate that's looking to improve themselves, it really helps us uh, to be able to do that. And, of course, there's a, a monetary benefit to the recipient. 
with the three-on-three tournament, it is such a perfect living memorial to Kai because it's very much something he would have done and something he would have approved of. So you, you said it right. You never, you never get over this. You just figure out how to carry it. And uh, with everybody participating and helping out with this tournament and, and participating in the tournament, uh, it helps us carry it. And, um, you know, there's a benefit, too, to everybody, everybody around that's involved in it as well. One of the interesting things to me about the Indiana County basketball community uh, is that Kai played for Homer Center and he played against the kids from Blairsville and United and Marion Center and Penn's Manor, all of the schools here in Indiana County. And all of the schools end up sending teams to this tournament, don't they? Because, they do. They yeah. do, and then some. Uh, his his reach and part of this new age, I say new because I'm old, but uh, with the social media reach and with uh, just the, the, the general... Um, the way the way our youth are exposed now, yeah. um, it's amazing how mo- how far that reaches, and there's a lot of camaraderie, camaraderie there. The, like you said, I, I see students come down from Marion Center, which you know can be a quite a rival at times, and and I see students come in from the other rival schools, and they're all smiling and happy to be there representing him as well. Some who may have known him personally and right there on the court or right there off, or, or off the court. Others who have just been touched by the story, and and I, I can't ask for, I couldn't look for anything more than that. It's just, it's just a really good feeling, and it's a really nice way to remember my son. Dan Roboski is our guest this morning. The third annual Kai Roboski Memorial Three on Three Tournament is going to be May eighteenth at the Homer Center High School. Action begins at what time? Eight a.m. start, and uh, like we said, like I said earlier, we have room for teams in every bracket, in every division, and uh, really looking forward to a very successful event this year. All right, so somebody who's out there right now says we can get a team together for this. We can go play some three on three, even though we're. 70 years old. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. Come we on have, down. We have all age brackets for sure. What do they need to do? All they need to do is visit the website to make things easy. Um, it's kaislegacy.org, K A I S legacy.org. All the forms are right there to download and print. You can reach us through the website or through Facebook or, uh, or message us that way so that we can get things rolling along. Uh, in fact, if you are having difficulty putting that other player on your team, we're pretty good at helping out with a little matchmaker service. So, and if get in contact with us, and we'll we'll all work together to figure out how to get your team registered and and get your plan. There you go. And again, the proceeds will benefit a, a scholarship fund that you've set up in Kai's name. That's correct. Yes, so all all proceeds from this event. And I should say, not just playing from the concession stand, we have the entire event. So you will eat well if you want to come down and just kind of spectate. Uh, also, those proceeds goes, go toward the scholarship, all the team entries, the entire, the entire thing is designed to feed the Kai Paul Roboski Memorial Scholarship Fund. Absolutely. All right, there you go. Dan, thanks for coming in again to spend really some time with us. Really appreciate your having me. And uh, folks, again, if you missed all of that information, you can catch it by watching it on Facebook with us. Um, did you put it on your Facebook as well? Yes, and yes. Facebook Live for him too. And, uh, and of course, the interview will be posted at our website, wccsradio.com. Dan, have a great day and thanks. Thank you very much. Greatly appreciate it. It is the voice of Indiana County, WCCS, AM 1160, 101.1 FM.